Hey, what's up, everybody? Just kicking back, creating some sound effects for the book of Revelation. Don't forget to join us on Sundays. Uh, it's pretty wild to see uh, this revelation unfolding today in our lives. Also, you can study the book of Revelation this year. We have our playlist up at the website for 2022. Just go to my website. We are the last generation .com. Scroll down to the Bible studies and then click on uh, scroll down to Bible studies where we at here and click on Bible studies right here and then go down after that. Go down to until you see uh, the book of Revelation down towards the end times videos. Last generation videos right here. And here's your 2021 last year studies. And here's 2022 so far. We're going to keep adding every week to that and until that fills up 2022 studies. And this is a, a nice one. The Great Tribulation, three and a half years explained. That one you should check out. It's very complicated, but it's very enlightening to see what that three and a half year period is all about and why God chooses to use different names and how it all connects back to the book of Daniel. Very, very interesting study. So hope to see you there on that. And, and also I'm making these videos, trying to create some sounds for the book of Revelation. The fifth trumpet where there men want to kill themselves, but they can't kill themselves. They want to die, but they can't die. And I'm trying to find sound effects to describe what that must be like. And I found this little thing right here that seems to be pretty interesting. Like think about the men and what they sound like, what their voices might sound like these men who want to die, who cannot die. And I found these, listen. They sat beside them. <laughs> I don't know. It's rage is what it is. And so we're putting together the sound effects for all the chapters of the book of Revelation. And then those particular chapters have some pretty interesting sound effects there. What do we got here with Jason? What does his, his sound like? That was Aaron. <laughs> what does Jason sound like? The dead walks by my side. The dead walks by my side. That might be useful for that particular scripture in the fifth trumpet where men seek death and shall not, cannot find it. Slow like suicide. Suicide. Anyway, it's pretty interesting. And one more final thing. I wanted to show you this. This is something I'm working on. I need your prayers to help me understand how to be transformed from the sinful nature to the new creature. And I'm working on this presentation here, the sinful nature and the new creature and how they're battling for my mind. And I have, you know, the old me, that's who I am on the left, sinful. And my mind is controlled by sin. And then God comes along and takes my mind away. It, it, it's like a, it's like my mind is regenerated. My mind becomes regenerated into a new creature and the old man is considered dead and i'm trying to understand how this works with pictures and diagrams right now we understand the, the battle between in the mind between the sinful nature and the the spirit of god and this is ever so true and real and to all of us but this is the way it's supposed to be and this old sinful nature is supposed to have no control no power no input no vote no presence you know it's dead that's what dead means so we're supposed to just end up being new creatures, which would be this picture right here. Let's put this new creature down at the bottom end. We're supposed to end up with just the new creature, you know, and that's, and the dead, the dead man, he's still there if, but we're supposed to walk in the new creature. Now he's still there and he wants to control us but we have freedom now right we have freedom now we're not like this any we're not supposed to be like this forever we're, we're supposed to be like this like this separated and eventually the old one's gone and dead so help me pray pray with me that we learn about this because I believe it's possible to overcome our sins and I know a lot of you do too and that's what scripture says. So let's make sure that we believe it and become it. 
All right, I love you guys. And, and let's ask God to help us with our unbelief. Our unbelief, uh, like the guy in Mark 9, help us with our unbelief because we all need help with that, don't we? I love you guys. <laughs> I hope to see you guys there. Don't forget to go to my website. Join us every weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Saturday's our Bible study on a different topic. Pretty good study as well. And thank you guys for your prayers, your support, your donations. You guys are awesome to me.